the RAK Art Foundation inaugurated its arts exhibition in Baku, the capital of Azerbaijan, showcasing the works of 20 Bahraini artists and attracted a large number of Azerbaijani art enthusiasts. We have more in this report. The RAK Art Exhibition, which is running until the end of September, features nearly 50 artworks from various generations and art schools within the Rashid Al Khalifa Art Foundation's holdings. It is part of a broader initiative that includes educational programs and an artistic exchange announced in May between the Foundation and the Azerbaijan State Academy of Art. First of all, I would say that I'm very happy that today exhibition takes place in Baku, in Kew Gallery Baku, an exhibition organized by Rak Art Foundation from Bahrain. And my personal thanks, of course, to Sheikh Rashid Al Khalifa, president of the Iraq Foundation. And this is not only cultural bridges, this is opens also touristic ways because people see here. I've, I was talking right now to the president of Azerbaijan Artists Association who told me, I mean, I didn't know that in Bahrain there are so many such a strong artists. The president of the Iraq Art Foundation, Sheikh Rashid bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, highlighted the significance of the exhibition in promoting Bahraini art and cultural relations between Bahrain and Azerbaijan. He expressed his gratitude to His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister for their continued support of Bahrain's cultural scene. He also noted that the exhibition serves to strengthen Bahrain's position on the international art scene and fosters cultural communication through the universal language of art. Participating Bahraini artists commended the Rack Art Foundation's efforts to promote Bahraini visual art on the international stage and to facilitate cultural communication globally. I'm just very honored and, and just so nice to be in Baku and it's such a good exchange between the two countries. We share art with them here and they share art with us. And I'm amongst so many great icons of Bahrain and as you know, Bahrain, we started our art at least 50 years ago in our region, so here we are blessed to share it with the rest of the world. The foundation aims to engage communities, educate the public, and foster critical thinking and social dialogue through the arts. The Kingdom of Bahrain participated in the meeting of the 15th session of the Council of Foreign Ministers of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation in the Cameroonian capital Yaoundé on the topic developing the infrastructure for transport and communication within the framework of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, a major tool in combating poverty and insecurity. Bahrain's delegation was headed by the Under Secretary of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs for Political Affairs, Dr. Sheikh Abdullah bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, who affirmed Bahrain's keenness to strengthen solidarity between Islamic countries and protect their interest to achieve peace, security, and stability. He reviewed the priorities of the kingdom to enhance the unity of Islamic integration in face of the common challenges and to contribute to the consolidation of international peace and security and support sustainable development goals. He affirmed Bahrain's position in calling for the necessity of dialogue as a way to end wars and settle all disputes. The Under Secretary urged the international community to effectively respond to the initiatives of His Majesty the King regarding holding an international peace conference to achieve a fair and comprehensive peace in the Middle East, provide education and health services for those affected by conflicts, and develop cooperation in financial technology, innovation, and digital transformation. He stressed the importance of international cooperation in spreading a culture of peace and tolerance, establishing the values of moderation, combating extremism and terrorism, and drawing its financial and intellectual sources. The educational and administrative cadres will resume their work on Sunday in various schools in Bahrain, marking the start of the new academic year 24-25. The Ministry of Education intensified all its efforts to receive educational and administrative bodies and students. The Ministry worked to complete the maintenance work for several academic buildings and classrooms and secure services and facilities supporting the educational process. These efforts aim to ensure the readiness of schools and the facilities and services they contain to receive students in a way that supports the needs of educational facilities and ensures their continuity in carrying out their development roles.
The ban decision to work under direct sunlight and in open places for 24 has now ended. It entered into implementation from the 1st of July to the end of August. The annual decision comes in light of Bahrain's efforts to promote occupational safety and health and apply best practices in the work environment according to international standards. During the past years, the decision contributed to reducing the risk of work injuries, achieving positive results in maintaining the health and safety of workers and enhance productivity levels. The commitment to implementing the decision contributed to providing a safe work environment that guarantees the safety and protection of workers from the dangers of heat stress, sunstroke, summer diseases and reduced professional accidents. Before we end this program, let's take a look at the latest sustainable development news in the following report. In Iraq, the competition of seven international companies for electrical energy generation projects from burning waste in Baghdad is a promising step towards solving the problem of waste disposal and turning it into an energy source. This initiative carries many benefits, including improving the quality of life for citizens and residents, and this intense competition between international companies for this huge project is a clear indication of the increasing confidence in the Iraqi economy and the investment opportunities available in it, as it reflects the increasing interest in environmental and sustainability issues. Scientists in Germany have monitored fungi capable of feeding on plastic, which opens new horizons to address the problem of plastic waste that pollutes the world's oceans. The team pointed out that the ability of fungi to consume plastic may be a way to adapt to the increasing quantities of plastic waste in the environment, and despite increased recycling rates in recent years, less than 10% of plastic waste is recycled globally. Several leading environmental initiatives and solutions contributed to enhancing the efforts and vision of the Emirate of Ajman, aimed at ensuring the environmental sustainability and protecting it from pollution, and spreading environmentally friendly practices in line with the UAE pillars concerned with reaching climate neutrality by 2050. Ajman's initiatives aim to raise the efficiency of the quality of life in the Emirate, maintain the health of society, preserve its resources, enhance the quality of water and air, and increase the green area. 16% was recorded at the level of recycling of solid materials for this year and the reuse of treated materials from solid waste in various industries which contributed to reducing the amount of wastes. The Emirates International Aluminum Company continues its leadership in applying sustainability practices at all stages of production as the company works to reduce its carbon marking by adopting an advanced approach in the industry in recognition of the importance of aluminum contribution to developing more sustainable societies starting from the manufacturing stages. The company also strengthened the UAE's position as a global center for aluminum production using solar energy, as these efforts come in the framework of its firm commitment to reach the zero carbon emissions in its operations and all its supply chain by 2050.